there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, bringing you a glamorous bathroom review of the Dylan by Henry Margu in the color 614 GR. This is a really nice rooted color. It's basically a little bit like Noriko's Champagne R. Um, it's a very light champagne blonde that has a gradient sort of dark brown, or it looks like a medium brown root in this case, but it's a very dark contrast root compared to the rest of the color because it's so light. Dylan is a really pretty asymmetrical sort of modified pixie cut. Um, really interesting cut, has lots of razored layering all over. Now like a lot of short wigs, it's gonna be a little stiff when you first get her home and this sample wig is no exception. Um, they do that with these short precision cuts in the factory to make sure that they get the cutting, the cut right, you know? So wash it when you get her home, so that way it softens up and then it won't be so stiff anymore. It'll probably lay a little bit better too. Because right now it's so stiff I can't get the lace front to lay off the face. But it has a lace front. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a nice lace front. It's a thick lace front as you can see. And it kind of goes straight across. Um, this has a lot of layering. Just a ton. It's a very cute pixie cut. Uh, it is very full, particularly back here at the crown, and there's a lot of space back here. There's a little bit extra room back here at the crown. Um, now, I have a large head and kind of a flat occipital area, and because of that, this, this wig keeps riding up. So before I do anything else, I want to show you what this looks like all the way around. Now, bear in mind, if you don't have an average large head like I do, you won't have this issue. <laughs> it's just... This being a short wig meant to fit very securely, it's a little bit on the small side for me and it keeps feeling like it wants to go whoop off my head. So let me show it to you before it does that and you'll see my bio hair poking through, but hopefully it's dark enough that you'll be able to tell the difference between the wig and my head. I still think it's a cute cut even though it's um, a little bit too small for me. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Um, now it didn't hurt, it wasn't like it was so tight that it, it felt like it was gonna fall off, but I'd have to sew clips into it or something because um, it just kinda wanted to slide right off. So let me show you this lovely 26GR up close. It's super pretty. You can see quite a bit of permatease up here at the crown on Dylan. We've got a standard cap up here. There's that lace front. Now it, it does have a bit of a contour to it, but it's just, it's very thick. Um, and it does sort of look a little bit more rounded than most contour lace fronts just because of how the, the knotting on the sample is laid out. Um, it's open on the sides and the back, you get quite a bit of hair. Look how close these wefts are. Um, it's got an extended felt nape with Velcro adjusters and fuzzy felt here on the ear tabs with a nice bit of firm metal in there. Um, and don't worry about the TSA being upset about the metal or knowing that you have a wig on. They know you have a wig on, they don't care. As long as you don't put something bulky under your cap, they don't care. So very cute little pixie wig. The bang is four inches. The nape is only 1.5 inches, so it's really, really short back here. The sides are 1.75 to 3.25, and the back is basically the same measurements. And as you can see, it's definitely got that precision cut feel, with the slight exception of the one side is a little bit longer than the other. So because this one doesn't fit me right, I'm not going to go on at great length about it. Just know it's a really, really cute modified pixie, lots of layering, lots of texture. And I do want to give Henry Margu a, a little bit of kudos for having some diversity with their models. It's nice to see a nice, beautiful woman of color um, in with their models. And I just wanted to like acknowledge that and give them some applause for, you know, perhaps thinking a little bit outside the box there and showcasing that their products are beautiful on women of all colors and backgrounds, which I think is necessary in this industry. A little bit of uh, cross-pollination between the African-American wig market and the traditional Caucasian medical wig market. I think it's necessary. I think it's time. So anyhow, this 
has been Dylan by Henry Margu in the color 614GR. I'm Heather, I'm from sisterwigs.com. That's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. Thank you so much for watching my wig reviews and hopefully you'll check out my store. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already so you don't miss a single review coming up. And until next time, have a great night. Bye-bye.